Hi, welcome to the system. This is Arch Merged and it's Mate as a desktop environment. We have changed this icon up here and I have asked on uh, Facebook, look guys, what do you need from tutorials? And that was one of the questions, how to change this icon up here. Now, first off, what panel is this? So we need to know what menu that uh, it is on the panel. That's this one. We're actually talking about the menu bar, which is a standard one. We have to make other tutorials for these guys. So the menu bar, that's this one, obviously. So how did I change it? Well, it's a bit uh, tricky. Uh, all you need to know is that there are there is a kind of database inside your system, in Linux system from time to time, depending on the desktop. You get an, um, a database, which is called the dconf database let's have a look control H and then dot config there is a folder in here you never if you ever wondered what this thing is we can't open it double click it you get this thing uh, so it's not just open it and then change it so that's uh, not the case but there is an application and actually it's not installed on the ISO because it's that technical but I might include it on next one because if you want to change this icon, that's the easiest way to, to do it. There's another way, but that's one of the better ways, I think, to do it. What we need to do is to have dconf editor. So when I install my Nemesis uh, scripts from my uh, GitHub, let's see if it's in uh, Pacman, dconf, and then editor. Yes, it is. So it's coming from here. And you can just install it by typing this. So nothing changes for me, but now it's installed. Meaning I can now also run it. It's probably in here somewhere. Dconf editor. Gonna take me all while to figure out where it is again. Programming maybe. I don't know. So what I do most of the time is super shift D, which brings up my T menu, which is actually on the second screen that you can't see. It's the line at the top where you see these letters and it's now fixated on my second screen so you won't see it. That's a pity. So it has to be somewhere in here. The dconf. Let me pause and look. Okay, I got it. I would have looked for access accessories but it's in here in the system tools. So dconf editor. See that you don't break anything. So this is a kind of database uh, with with uh, folders and a folder in a folder in a folder in a folder and there's information. So that's just what I did. I went to look in what folder might it be, apps, ca, com, de, org. And then I found mate, I think. Okay, and then I thought it's in the panel. So, and then I found menu bar, that's the menu bar, and I thought, let's click that. And then I saw this icon name. Now, default icon name was something else. Um, we can't see it right. Ah, here it is, start here. That's the default. And as an icon developer, that's exactly what I did. So, home, and then you go to the icons, to Serdi, to scalable, to places, yeah, places, start here. This is the icon you get. This is the icon. So the second solution is change the name because it's pointing to this. If you rename this one to start here and rename this one to start here backup or something, then you get this icon in here but then you're screwing with the sadi icons and all the surfing icons or the paper icons or the numix icons you know you have to change the icon name better is to go in here and tell him don't use the default but use something and then of course a name that's that's ready available like firefox that's an icon that's available so enter and here you have a firefox icon theme so it's that easy, you, the name of an um, well existing icon will pop up and will show up if you want to have Arch Linux. I believe that one is also possible. 
And how did I figure out the name? Well, you have to look for the folder icons and then check what icons you can have. And in Sardi, in Scalable, in Apps, start typing with Distributor. And here are all the Distributor logos. So a nice little Tux, Antagos, and all these icons. So this one is ours, Distributor logo ArchMerge. So that's what I did. Change this in here, the deconf editor. That's a great tip, I guess. I think it's faster. But remember, you're writing in these zeros you just saw. It's a database they are changing. But if you know what you're doing and just changing this, that's great. All right. Cheers.